Week eight. Nine. Week, eight. Week eight. eight. <laughs> Up to episode 40 of Dark Shadows. Ooh, of how many? Of 1,225. <laughs> All right, there you Almost go. there. Close. True story. <laughs> what happened this week? Um, well, Malloy was very busy this week. He was very busy. Running around, doing some business. Business, not cannery business that he's supposed to be doing. No. Well, he's looking after Elizabeth because he found out that Burke was looking into the business, right? Yes, that Burke, yeah, Burke, he presumes that Burke wants to buy right. the Collins businesses and possibly the house and so he, Burke kind of confirmed it yeah him. so he went and talked to Burke and then he wants to protect he said Elizabeth David and Carolyn doesn't care about Roger doesn't Fine, care about whatever Roger. Yeah. um so then he went and talked to Burke made Burke promise that he believed them alone if he could prove that he was innocent and didn't commit that murder mm -hmm. so then he went over to see Sam Roger was there. Right. But then he got Roger to skedaddle. Well, why was Roger there? Roger was there because he was trying to talk. I was trying to do the other storyline first. Anyway, Roger was there. He's trying to talk was, Sam. Order, but yeah. He's trying to talk Sam out of doing the painting. Mm -hmm. And then he was of like, Burke. of Burke. And then he was spying on them. Yeah, because Burke showed up mm -hmm. for his preliminary charcoal sketch, I guess. Right. And Which so... got progressively better. Unex um, yes, yes, the next day uh, of shooting. Was it even the next, suddenly. yeah. <laughs> so did uh, Roger's scar. It went from mm. one day, it looked like someone drew on with a pencil crayon a little like line with cross hatches, and then the next day it was like 3D molded. Like, they stepped up their scar was, game. I don't, yeah, I don't know, like a, well, we have like a prosthetic, but it's not ready yet. So <laughs> just here, just draw something on it. There we go. That's and how, done. That's my guess what happened. Anyway, and so so Roger hid in the bedroom. He's trying to make sure they're not talking too much. Mm -hmm. And then Burke left because Malloy called from the hotel. Someone called from the hotel, so he left. Right. I forget who it was. Was it Carol? Carolyn? No. No, he called Carolyn later about the ring. So Carolyn met him. This is all out of order, guys. Sorry. Yeah. So. Carolyn met him at the restaurant and left the ring there because she wanted to go to Bangor yeah, with ring him. That, it was her birthday gift from Roger. Yes, and Roger was not happy that yeah. she gave it to him, but she didn't give it to so him. So she thought she was being sneaky and leaving it there. but uh, So that Burke would have to contact her again before he left for Bangor because she wants to follow him to Bangor where he's mm -hmm. got a business meeting with Bronson again. And... Burke's a little smarter than she is and knew what she was doing. And <laughs> so he gave the ring to Roger to give back to her and ruined her plans. But she showed up anyway. And, and... he waited because he knew that she would show up anyway and pretend she didn't have it. And then yeah. he found it in her purse. And... He takes it, takes it out. And he's like, oh, here it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, yeah. Then. Oh, and then um, Malloy got Sam drunk. Mm -hmm. and try to get him to tell him stuff and then he did he told him just before he passed out he told him that he's the only thing standing between roger and a jail cell a prison sentence prison or whatever he said prison walls or something prison sentence he said. that's what he said yeah i don't know I'm sure i'll take your word for it you see him right ahead. <laughs> um yeah so now malloy knows that there's for sure, some, I can say they got a, kind of a confession. Mm. Not a detailed confession, but kind of Something. a confession from Sam before Sam passed out. Yeah. And then Bill tucked him in and and left. And then back at the house earlier on in the in the week, Victoria heard the crying. Yes, the sobbing And went night. down to the basement and tried to get into that room. And then... And we got a new actor. <laughs> we have a new Matthew... We have a new Matthew. He's suddenly, what, like 30 years younger? And, and about 150 pounds heavier. He's got this, like, <laughs> he's, they just are trying too hard with him to be, like, he's, like, this grumpy, like, and he's got this, like, fake <laughs> yes, ash and beard. beard. Like, it's like, like, really, just like he just looks like charcoal on his face or something, and it's he terrible. He like and borderline mentally handicapped I, now, I instead of with... just like a nice old man who was protective, mm -hmm. now he's... I can't even with him. I just yeah. don't even have words not for that. Fan. Not, not a fan. Not a fan of maybe the Maybe he'll get Matthew. better, but I'm just... Guys, I just know. No, not, no. not working for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but he caught Victoria downstairs. She said she was looking for books 
for David, which she was, but she was also following the the sobbing, and then Elizabeth mm-hmm. was down there, and she found the books for David and whatever, but... Mm-hmm. And Victoria, was she still down there or something? She would still been looking or something. She was still... Oh, no, she... Elizabeth found out that he she was questioning Matthew about it, I think. And mm. so she was just like, well, you don't believe me? My answers are good enough. Oh, right. And she's if like, here, to, take the key. Yeah, she's like, gives her the key. And like, if you want to look in there. And she's like, no, that's not necessary. Oh, this trick in the book. Yep, to get someone to believe <laughs> that you don't have anything. is to Gotta call their bluff so, on that crap. Yeah, yeah I think she should have. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe there was nothing. Maybe she would have opened it up. And there's just a tape recorder with sobbing. Mm. going on and the way they were seven <laughs> um <laughs> people who've seen seven brides for seven brothers will know that song oh, okay that song. i have not i've only seen six oh brides for seven brothers anyway <laughs> that was very <laughs> that was very out of order but that was the week that was a week Ta-da! we did <laughs> it I think that was everything. okay next week what do we what do we got going on what's going on next week well, we're still kind of like building towards like what something new. We don't really have like a major thing like with the the car accident and the aftermath well, I, of the car accident. It's, I think the confession from Sam is yeah, pretty huge at yeah, this it's point. Kind of, it Every, seems like where we're going. Yeah, everything else is kind of just building up to nothing or something minor, but that's building up to something mm-hmm. quite major. If Roger could end up going to jail, right. He had to still prove that it would just, I mean, it's his word saying, oh yeah, he was drunk and told me that this is a thing, but mm-hmm. we still give him motivation how, how to keep Burke looking into the, it. Oh, we forgot also Matthew showed up at the diner when Burke was there and basically threatened him to stay away from the family or he was mm-hmm. going to kill him. Can you say that? We ran out of space, so we had to, the video stopped. <laughs> Sorry. So we're back. But we don't um, have much more to say. Just, yeah, he threatened to kill him and... Threatened to kill him. Um, so we're going to have, have predictions for next week. Anything? Oh, yes. Get anything? Uh, where do you think we're um, going? I just want to say that Carolyn's, everyone's... Carolyn's going to follow Burke to... Uh, is she... Oh, yeah, because she got in her car. Hanger. She got she got in her car. I just want to say that everyone's out to protect Elizabeth and nobody cares about Roger. No. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> predictions... Go down? I don't know. I mean... Is Bill going to succeed? Do we already talk about predictions? I think we already did. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Is there anything you got? I think. Mm, I don't know. I don't think Roger will go to jail. I mean, if he does, it wouldn't be for long. But how could it not be for long? I don't know. Anyway. No, we'll find out. We'll find out. Okay. Bye. Bye.